Oh, certainly if disaster strikes, a tornado hits or a hurricane ravages a town, everybody pulls together and there's a real feeling of shared concern, a sense of community. That's pretty good for my And he had had somebody in the back of the alley knocking down all those pins. Yeah. See well, we're going to work on our bowling this weekend, and you have a very nice vacation. You have losing one. An attendance record was set at Riverbend tonight. It broke the record that was set last night by the same artist, Detroit rock and roller Bob Seger. Because regardless of your personal view, you must admit most Americans ready to don't believe his name out, ready to a push fetus it on is one. yet a person, or abortion is the same thing as killing a born baby. You know, the last thing he said is, is, is the most relevant if you listen to his show. He's not just a comedian and, and doing a lot of jokes and stuff. He is a real lobbyist. He Three times a week with commentaries on Cincinnati's leading rock and roll radio station. I'm Jerry Springer with an alternative plan for paying for mass transit. How about slot machines on all the buses? If we don't find room for Jesse Jackson and the forgotten and alienated Americans he represents, if we chase these folks out of the system, what avenue is left for them to vent their anger? Hi. Good evening, I'm Jerry Springer. Coming up tonight on News 5 at 11, campaigning goes down to the wire tonight before tomorrow's big election. We'll explain what's at stake. And the ideals of the Ku Klux Klan are still burning strong today among some people in Indiana. We're going to the Super Bowl. Right. We're going to the World Series. This is Cincinnati's year. We're I done. Feel it's it. it's over feel with. It. Don't even buy the tickets. It's all oh. over with. Don't worry about it. And that's all the time we have for now. <laughs> Stay tuned for news updates every hour on the hour. Thanks for being with us. And we're going to see you again tomorrow. Until then, take care of yourself and each other. Good night. Good night. I'm Jerry Springer. The world changed, so we shouldn't be surprised that our colleges did too. We'll talk about it. He's not here, of course, to celebrate his 50th birthday. He wouldn't have been if no one had the chance to uh, see that. Our defiance, our youth, our naivety, and our vulnerability. What we remember most about Elvis is not the fact that he died, but he remembered, he, we rem are reminded about the fact of when he was young from when he was young. Was regularly being named best TV anchor in Cincinnati. So as I thank you tonight for the best anchor honor, as well as for accepting me in this dual role, I also must thank my bosses. First, because they deserve it. Second, because they may be watching. But there's so little to do, even that councilman with the long hair can draw a crowd. But I'd like to go back to that shot we saw of you just a couple of minutes ago. Where did they get what that? was that year, 1977? They had the Mr. America contest, and I was supposed to give a key to the city as the mayor. I took my shirt and off. And he took I'll, never shirt. Do, I'll never do that again. You'll never do that again. Okay. <laughs> <Like> that. <laughs> The fate of some area schools decided. Details at 11. Harold Mills gets the scoop tonight at 11. Good evening, I'm Jerry Springer. The sale of Homestate is on shaky ground. Chemical Bank says the $91 million proposed state contribution just isn't enough. Well, you've seen them advertised in newspaper inserts and on television sets. No, not television sets. Huh? You've seen them advertised in these newspaper inserts and on television. Hi. I am not God, nor am I a theologian. Last two weeks we've been covering the Olympics. Last three weeks almost. <laughs> Ken's now going to talk about a sport. I, I, I'll be honest, I use a snorkel in a bathtub, so it's not a... A glass of water bothers you, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. It's not a sport I relate to much, but I'm going to be interested in hearing about it. Ken? What a, what a scary thought that is, too. <laughs> Some workers at the Fernald Uranium Processing Plant can breathe a little easier tonight. They'll make that a lot easier. Follow-up tests on five employees suspected of plutonium contamination have proven negative. And so all these things we have alike, the stadium and the river and the bridges and the river boats and the rolling hills and the fountain and our newspapers, except their newspaper is wrong. Of course, they don't know it yet. Pirate fans swear they're number one. The voters can't seem to resist a guy who wrestles bears and enjoys the disco scene. And that ability to win people over has begun to make political observers take his campaign seriously. Collins decided recently that he didn't like his old trench coat anymore, that he needed a new one. But the thought of just throwing away the coat bothered him. After all, it's more than a trench coat. It's a reporter's best friend. You the president of the local Teamsters Union in Cincinnati in northern Kentucky is warning trucking companies to send trucks out in convoys after midnight on Monday. Eight days ago, the bus drivers went on strike.
Despite no TV experience, Springer's editorials made his station number one. Tonight at 11. Also tonight, what's the best-selling beer in the country? You might be surprised. And the Queen City welcomes a rock and roll star that's beginning to shine in other areas, too. It is. Yeah, don't believe the people that just read that. I mean, well, they he just, just read them. Lines. Yeah, and, and yeah. you take it out of context. And right. Otherwise, you know, like, people think we're picking on them. Right, we're not. We're not. We're not. It's a very up. good book, and everybody should read it. You done? Yeah. Coming up next on News 5. So far, three Marines have been arrested in that case, but given that, the Pentagon's not taking any chances. At Nippert Stadium, we, of course, will be there. I love those rallies at the high school gym. That's right. Jeff Hirsch, News 5. <laughs> well, I That's hope that lady line. wasn't trying to get lottery tickets today, too. No, she's had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Runs out of gas, poor battery. Well, it, the weather didn't have a good day either, did it? Well, no, not really. I... That's right, but now in determining whether or not Bart Giamatti can be a fair judge, they are going to talk about the kind of evidence that Bart Giamatti has in front of him and whether or not that was deduced fairly. In that kind of a case, they may have to bring Bart Giamatti to the stand. But since the most important thing here is finding the truth and preserving the integrity of baseball as well as Pete's rights, I'd like to avoid even the appearance of having been biased. I'd like to lift the cloud that will inevitably hover over this case no matter what decision I now reach. So. I'll step aside here. Agree not to hear this case. It's not approved by the FAA, but News 5's Laura Randall decided to give it a try anyway. It's called tandem skydiving. In tandem, two jumpers are strapped to each other, sharing one shoot. The number one news program in Cincinnati. Because I was doing the news, I couldn't very well be dancing with the Chippendales in the afternoon if I was going to be doing serious news at night. It doesn't have to be roses or red, violets or blue. It's going to snow on you. No, it doesn't have to be like that. No. I like that one, though. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Thank you, Thanks. Pat. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. We've now been told, looks like it's going to be cold. <laughs> Just ahead, a Northern Kentucky man may be up for a White House job, and in sports, nearly a million dollars a year. Some strange things are going on at the most popular country music bars in the area. The people at Bobby Mackey's are getting used to not only playing country music, but also telling ghost stories, as we learn in Michael Collins' world. I, they have turned me into an absolute hockey fan. Well, it seems like ever since did. Lemieux got hurt, everybody's been coming through. Yeah, the main man, Yarmulke Yarger. You're getting good at pronouncing story. that too. No, I'm not You're pronouncing it right, but I'm just going to stick with it. Yarmulke Yarger's <laughs> not right. <laughs> no, it's Yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, you guys can compliment each other later. Still ahead. <laughs> they're creepy and they're kooky. Not talking about Jerry and Greg, but they're not the Adams family. These little things are actually part of a bug banquet. 